day so that Joshua and his army could have more light to fight against the enemy. So this is the reason why he wanted the sun to stand still. You know, he wanted the sun to stand still. Joshua had his army to have more so they can have more light to fight against the army. You know, so God stopped the sun in the moon long enough to give Joshua, you know, of uh, his army time to defeat the Ammonites. You know, because he needed light. He needed light to fight. And see, Joshua wanted to win. He wanted to win. And God said, God said, you, no one was able to stand up against you. You know, so you do what you need to do. I'm going to back you up. You know, so there his, so he has never been a day like it before. A sense of day when the Lord listened, you know, to a human being. Surely the Lord was fighting for Israel. You know, fighting for Israel. You know, so God had listened. God listened to a human being. You know, the sun had stand still. Now we see the day, you know, was prolonged. Not that God used a particular method to prolong it, you know, but two events occurred. You know, showing of the earth normally rotate, they give Joshua more time. You know, so I don't know how Joshua came up with that, but he that was a good idea he came up with because he defeated. You know, and two, some unusual uh, reflection of the sun give additional hours of light. So God in Seville turned the tide of battle for his people. You know, so that's the first time he ever did that for someone. So we see that God had got glory. God had got glory over this story. You know, he made the sun still still. You know, and the moon stop. You know, until Joshua and the Israelites defeated the Ammonites. Because after they finished the Ammonites, then he turned everything back like it was. So Joshua was the first human being that God listened and made it happen. You know, so then Joshua had returned with all Israel to camp again. You know, so the sun stood still and the moon had stopped. You know, they defeated the Ammonites. You know, they defeated the Ammonites. You know, and so, so that was an unusual, bold prayer, unshakable faith that Joshua had. You know, he was very bold. To go to God. And look, look God, I, I need you to stop the sun. You know, God, I need you to stop the moon. Could you just do that for me, God? And God listened. You know, he needed more light to fight and defeat the army. You know, and he are a righteous man. Because he fighting, fighting, now this was not that bad. You know, he fighting for somebody to deceive him. But the righteous person that he are. You know, regardless that he got deceived. And this man called him for help. He did not say no. He immediately got off the phone and started getting his army together. And they started fighting him, but then they started getting dumped. So that's when he turned over and he started praying to God, asking God um, boldly, unusable um, question. You, you know, unshakable. He had an unshakable faith. You know. He had an unshakable faith because she ready to ask God, you know, I need you to do me a favor. You know, you know we need to defeat this because they're fighting and not stopping. And it's about to get dope. You know, some of our men got killed by the sword. So my, my heavenly father, we need some light. Could you just stop the sun? Could you just stop the moon? You know, our people is getting hurt. It's getting dope. We need light to keep on fighting. You know, so God listen. And God helped Joshua out, you know, at the first round, you know, God had them in confusion. They was winning. But there was, some of the Israelites got killed by the sword, you know, then it's getting dark. Some more would have got killed, you know. So he asked God to stop the light, stop the all sun, stop the moon, you know, so we can defeat the Ammonites, you know, and God listened and did what he asked them to do, and they had won. They Joshua got victory, but then God had got glory. 
you know, because everyone see that it, it have not got nighttime, but, you know, it was still, it was still daylight, you know, because God has stopped the sun, he stopped the moon to give them enough light to keep on fighting, you know, so no one never saw this kind of stuff happen before, you know, God got the glove off for this, and, uh, and Joshua, he got victory, you know, so that's all the word I have for you today, you know, um, the sun stands still. And Joshua had an unusual bold prayer, you know, an unshakable faith, you know, to ask God to do something like that. And God already said, no one be able to stand up against you. So I guess when he came up with that, you know, stop the sun, you know, that was his way of helping. Scoop. Yeah. That was his way of helping Joshua, confirming to him that I got your back. And God had his back, you know. God has stopped that sun and that moon, you know, and for him to keep on fighting. Because, see, there was fighting, and it was getting dark. The was like was getting killed, you know, so he had to do something quick. And he very smart to come up with something so quick, you know, and then defeat it. You know, so that's all I have for you today. Y'all have a blessed and safe night, and i see y'all on the next video.